Hello everyone and welcome to another recommends video. This video is about the Expanse series, book 6, which is called Babylon's Ashes. It takes place immediately following the events in book 5. To see the videos on the first 5 books of the series, check out the Expanse books playlist. In the prologue, Namono, who is Pastor Anna's wife, goes and gets food from a government food truck and when she gets home we find out that Pastor Anna had one of her legs crushed. We see how hard things are for the people on earth after the asteroid strikes and Pastor Anna tells her that the Free Navy had tried to launch another asteroid but the UN Navy managed to stop it and that Pastor Anna now wants to hold some church services in their living room. Michio Pa is captain of the Connaught and they are at the gate stopping ships from going through, confiscating the ships and whatever goods they have inside them and redistributing them to the rest of the belt. She had just completed doing that to a ship called the Hornblower when Marco calls her and tells her he wants her to come to series. He's having a meeting with all of his inner circle. And it occurs to her and her new husband that Marco is not as infallible as he's trying to get people to believe. Philip, who's at Palace Station with his father, hates James Holden because he blames him for the fact that he thinks Naomi died when she left the ship. He later finds out that Naomi didn't die, but she survived. And now he was the only one who didn't know that. So now he hates her even more than he hates Holden. And now his father's ship, the Pella, is headed for Ceres. On the moon, Holden and his crew spent days getting debriefed. They finally ended up in a meeting with Ava Sorella, Johnson, and Prime Minister Smith. There, they were told that they had put together a combined fleet, and the fleet was going on a mission to destroy a ship called the Azure Dragon because they think it is the ship that is coordinating the attacks on Earth. The mission commander was going to be under Rosinante. At first, Holden and crew didn't like that idea until they found out that the mission commander was Barbie. Over in the slow zone, Salas is one of the men working to install a massive railgun on the alien space station. Since they couldn't weld or drill into the station, what they did is they created three belts around the station that would hold the railgun. The belts and the guns were built by Duarte, who sent them through into the slow zone through the Laconia gate. On the way to the meeting at Ceres, Michio is beginning to have doubts about Marco. Once they got to Ceres and everyone from the inner circle of the Free Navy was there, Marco told them that it is time to begin Phase 3. So the Rosinante caught up with the Azure Dragon and after hailing them and getting no response, they shot it with the railgun and they thought it was inoperable. So Bobby went to board it. And when she was in the airlock, the Azure Dragon trapped her there and then began attacking the Rosinante in mech suits. So Amos and Clarissa went out to stop them. They managed to beat them off, but Clarissa got shot and Holden went out and rescued her. Once Clarissa was in sickbay, Holden came to speak with her. He had finally accepted her as a member of the crew. Meanwhile, on series, Marco laid out his plans for phase three, which involved a system-wide belt of civilization with big power plants and food factories. And of course, they were going to strip mine earth to provide for all of it. Meanwhile, his son Philip got into an altercation and shot a security officer. So Anderson Dawes, who is the governor of Ceres, met with Marco and got his son banned from Ceres. If he ever came back, Philip would be arrested and tried. Dorosinante brought the Azure Dragon back to the moon with two prisoners. And when Holden gets there, he finds out that Avasarella had brought all of his eight parents up to the moon. Avasarilla knows that there are certain ships disappearing when they go through the gates, but without Medina Station, she can't get any more information. She also wants to know why Duarte picked the Laconia gate to go through, but the Martian government is not telling her. 
but now that she knows that Marco and his captains were all together on Ceres, she decided to attack and take back Ceres. On Ceres, we find out that Mashia Pa hates Fred Johnson because he put her in a position of authority on the behemoth before she was ready. And because she wasn't ready, she didn't pay attention to Bull's advice. And not paying attention to Bull's advice led to her lover Sam getting killed. And Marco finds out that Earth is coming for Ceres. So he's evacuating all of the military personnel and all of the supplies and leaving the belters behind to fend for themselves. So Monsieur Pa and her family, her husbands and wives, decide that they're not going to follow Marco anymore. Back on the moon, the Rossi is being outfitted with a new experimental hull made from studying the protomolecule. And it is going to be the observation ship for Fred Johnson in the attack on the Free Navy. On Ganymede, a researcher goes to her boss, Praxidite Ming, to get permission to begin development of a new GMO yeast that is designed to make food grow faster without any testing because of the need they have on Earth. But he denies it. He wants full testing before they do that. Later, that same researcher is found dead. Prax thinks that the Free Navy killed her because she was trying to help Earth. Back on Ceres, Philip had been confined to the pillar while the rest of the Free Navy stripped Ceres of anything they could carry and sabotaged what they couldn't. Of the 6 million people on Ceres, they only took 1.5 with them when they left. While leaving Ceres, Monsieur Pa has been watching as Earth and Mars made an announcement that they have taken Ceres and they are now trying to help the 4 million refugees that were left behind. She then turns to Captain Kamandi, who she knows does not want to join the mutiny, and tells him she's going to have to destroy his ship to make an example of him if he doesn't get with the program. On series, Holden began recording little human interest stories about belters to be broadcast on Earth. He's hoping that it will humanize the belters so that the racism will be diminished somewhat. And Fred wants Bobby to be the margin ambassador on series. Back on the pillar, when Marco gets Michio's message that she's leaving the Free Navy, he goes to his room to contemplate. And he stays there so long that Rosenfield, one of his inner circle, went to Philip to get him to go and talk to his father so that he could come out and make some decisions. When Marco comes out, he gives orders to destroy the Witch of Endor, which is a ship that has sided with Michio. When Michio finds out that Marco had destroyed her ship, the Witch of Endor, she reaches out to Fred for help, although she still hates him. Back on series, Fred doesn't want to have anything to do with Michio. He doesn't trust her, but both Barbie and Holden feel they need someone like her if they're going to succeed. So they went off to meet her without Fred's approval. Over in the slow zone, the first ship built by Duarte comes through the Laconia gates to the Medina station. It is under the command of Captain Montemayor and they claim they are just there to help the Free Navy, who is now in charge of the Medina station. So while the Rossi was headed to meet Pa, Marco shot down another of Pa's ships. When the Rossi and Pa's ship finally met, Someone from Ceres fired a bunch of missiles at them and the Rossi shut them down. Marco then put out a message saying that Michio Pa is working with the Inners. Over in Ganymede, Prax is having to deal with the Free Navy who are in charge. He takes the data set of the work of the dead researcher and gives it to two others to complete. He then transmit that results to researchers on Earth secretly. On the series, Fred asks Holden to take him to a meeting on Tycho. He speaks with Ava Sorella and she's not happy that he's working with Michio Pa, but she comes around when she realizes all the supplies that he's able to send to Earth because of that collaboration. 
Marco takes two ships with him as he goes to intercept Fred on the Rosinante as they head to Tycho. When he gets close enough, he launches his attack. The Rossi was able to take out the Pillars two support ships with its real guns and Bobby was able to anticipate what the pillar was going to do and damage it forcing the pillar to turn and run she fired two missiles at the retreating pillar but when Holden realized that Philip was on the ship he disarmed them before they could destroy it and while all this was going on Fred had a stroke and died Holden reaches out to Avasarella and tells her everything that happened about the battle and how Fred died. And after she pulls herself together, she tells him he needs to keep going to Tycho and make this meeting work. Back on the pillar, we find out that if Holden had not disarmed the missile, it probably would have destroyed the pillar. And of course, Marco blames Philip for them losing the fight and Philip is beginning to question Marco. At the asteroid Eugenia, Michio Pa and the Kanat met with Sanjirani and the Panshin. Sanjirani informs her that in three years, they're gonna run out of food to feed everyone, including Earth and Mars, and they didn't know what to do about it. She then received a type B message from Holden, who is on the Rosinante that is en route to the Tycho station. In the slow zone, 40 to 15 ships came through from the other side of the rings and attacked the Medina station. They were coordinated by someone on the station, but the ships were all destroyed by the rail guns. On the Rosinante, as it headed to Tycho, Holden got briefed by Avasarella on the people that would be there at the meeting and how to handle a political meeting. He also got Monsieur Pat to record a message for him endorsing him. Finally, it was Anderson Dawes who showed up at the meeting uninvited that convinced the others to give Holden a shot. Meanwhile, Amos finds out that Holden had a chance to shoot down the pillar and didn't and confronts him about it and he asks Holden if he's the right man for the job. Holden said no, but it's the job he has and he's going to do it. On Callisto, where Marco has brought the pillar to be repaired, Philip is beginning to feel guilt about what he's done. Then the news came about Fred Johnson's death and Marco claimed we did it. And Philip feels that when things go right, Marco takes credit. When things go wrong, he blames Philip. Avasarella, meanwhile, meets with the Martian military leader, Xian, and he, they come up with a plan. They're going to pack the Gian Battista, which is a ice hauler with 4,000 smaller ships, most of them a decoy, to go and take out the Medina station in the slow zone. It's going to be escorted by the Rosinante. Meanwhile, they're going to distract Marco by launching an all-out assault on all of the free Navy bases. This is mainly a decoy to keep Marco busy while they go and attack the Medina station and take it from him. Monsieur Pa takes the Canard and two ships to Palace Station where she destroys all of the station's defensives. Then she points one of her ship's drive at the dock and she tells them that if the Free Navy attack them, she will destroy the dock. She tells Rosenfield, who is in charge of Pillar Station, that now is his chance to fix things since he made a mistake by following Marco and he agrees. Meanwhile, Marco has to defend against an attack by Mika Aldujali and he wins, but at a price. He loses two of his ships and his ship, the Pillar, got damaged. Mika attacked him because he blames Marco for his brother's death. Then Philip confronts Marco, asking him if this is the real plan since all of his other plans has failed. But Marco treats Philip like a kid and ignores him. Marco only gets nervous when he realizes that the Rosinante is escorting the Giambattista to the ring. Two free navy ships tried to head off the Rosinante and the Giambattista before they got to the gate and fired four torpedoes at them, but all four torpedoes were destroyed and the Rosinante and the Giambattista took minimum damage. 
Luther Gian Battista then launched its 4,000 ships through the gate towards the Medina station. The Medina station defenders managed to destroy much of the ships before they realized that they weren't the real target. The real target was the rail guns that were attached to the alien station and Bobby and Amos and their squad landed on the alien station and began to attack the railgun and its defenders. Then Bobby lifted off of the station and launched a rocket at the railgun. That's when the station turned green, seemed to shrink and shove the railgun and the rings holding it to the station away. The railguns, now that they were no longer attached to the station, were useless. It turns out that the people defending the railguns were Duarte's marines. Once the fight for the railguns were over and Duarte's marines were defeated, Holden then turned and asked the Medina station to surrender, which they did. Meanwhile, on Callisto, Marco hears about the fall of Medina station and he gathers up his forces to go and take back Medina station. But Philip stays behind and changes his name to Nagata. In the Battle of Titan, Michio Pa got severely burned and she lost one of her husbands and one of her wives in the battle. When Avasarela called her and asked if she had any ship she could send to help defend Medina Station from Marco's counterattack, she told her she had no ships to send. Back in the slow zone on the Medina Station, Naomi figures out that there seems to be an energy threshold when passing through the gate and anything above when that threshold is met disappears. So Naomi and Holden come up with a plan so that when Marco's ships cross the gate that the treasure will be met and their ships will disappear. So their plan is to take the Giambattista and load it up so that when it goes through the gate it will be just at the threshold. And so when Marco brings in his 15 ships they will be over the threshold and their ships will disappear. The plan worked. And Marco, as he went through the gate with his ships, he was able to see the space between the atoms. And he sensed a dark force coming towards him. And all 15 ships disappeared. Six months later, at a meeting on Ceres, Holden proposed making a union that would administer the trade between the gates and the colonization of the gates and to ensure that the energy threshold of going through the gates are kept so that no more ships would disappear. Avasarela proposed giving this union a limited autonomy and she also proposed that Holden be put in charge of it but Holden instead nominated Michio Pa to lead it. Back on the Holden told Naomi that while Pa was his first choice, she, Naomi, was his second. Sometime later, Pastor Anna and her family, Nono and Nami, are on a ship headed for the new colony world of Edosia. And that's how the book ends. I want to thank you for watching and listening. And subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell, drop a comment, and I will see you in the next video.